What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension for creating detailed roofs in SketchUp. Before we get started, I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Hordes Raymond, JB McGee, and Arthur Reynolds Crook. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you like what I'm doing on the show, maybe you want to support it, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Instant Roof in UI. Plugin developer, Valley Architects. Plugin cost, $39 a year or you can get the Instant Architecture Package and get all of the extensions for $118 a year. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Valley Architects website. Tool Functions Like most of Valley Architects functions, this is a fantastic extension for creating roofs in your SketchUp models. It definitely separates itself from other roof extensions with the sheer number of options available to you. The way it works is fairly simple. Just select the face that you'd like to create your roof from Select a roof type and then click Make Roof. This will generate your roof inside your model. One thing to note is that you can change the way that this extension creates roofs by selecting certain edges. For example, if you wanted to create a shed type roof on the side of a building, you'd select the face of the roof along with the edge line to create a single sloping roof instead of a roof that runs all the way around the perimeter of the selected face. Note that when you create your roof, you'll get a dialog box showing you quantities. You can turn this on or off and can still access the quantities by clicking the take off log button. You can set the materials that get applied to your roof within the roof creation. Note that materials to apply to your roofs have to be actively inside your model. So I recommend creating little material swatches so that you can have those off to the side for when you need them. There are also several great materials you can download from Valley Architects website that work really well for this extension, and I will link to those in the notes down below. There are a number of options you can use to customize your roof that you can access by clicking the parameters button. This allows you to adjust just about everything about your roof, including eaves, hips, mansards, rafters, and much, much more. There's an option for adding Dutch gables to your roofs so that's ridiculously easy to use. All you do is you select a face and activate the Dutch gable tool. Adding dormers to your roofs is also really, really easy. Just draw a rectangle on your roof, make sure it has two horizontal lines, and then using the add dormer function, Instant Roof will automatically add the dormer for you. The Roof Details option is also amazing. It actually goes in and adds thickness and detail to your roofing material, from shingles to standing seam metal to really whatever kind of roof material you want to select off the list. This is going to be a huge deal for me when creating roofs that are renderable because they look a lot more realistic than just applying a roof material to a flat face. The CAD Fixer tool is designed to help you fix input errors from imported CAD data, and the Style Manager allows you to import and export different styles. Overall, this is a fantastic roof creation extension. It has so many different options and so many different things that you can do. It's a really powerful tool that would be great for anyone that does a lot of house or architectural modeling. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was interesting to you. Do you like the functions contained in this extension? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.